Welcome back to Clooney Garage. It's Fred here. Super important day today. Clooney is getting a fuel system and we're going 85 alcohol. Welcome back to Clooney Garage, it's Fred here and Chief Engineer Marcus, what are we doing today? Uh, I'm going with the fuel system. Oh, stop it. Well, what are we looking at here? Uh, well, we've got our we've got our upgraded fuel system we're putting in. Yep. Twin 525 pump setup. Right. Um, we'll be running some wiring to the front of the car. We've got return line going in as well. Oh. So yeah, it's starting to get intense. Yes, no worries. And this should uh, handle E85? Yeah, it'll be fine for E85, yep. Righto. Awesome. Well, let's get going. Return line on this system as well? Yep. Yep. Not too easy. And any injector upgrades we're going to need to do as part of this? Um, possibly. We'll, we'll have to suck it and see. Righto. Let's get going. Alright, All right, for those of you that haven't seen Clooney for a little while, and you only got a couple of sneak peeks as we looked at the fuel system here, have a look at the following clips, bit of music in the background, love this car, and I know you've been crying out for some content for it, here it is. Oh, it's a wet old day here in sunny Canberra, but um, the rain is not going to dampen our spirits because we're all G'd up. Can't wait to get this new fuel system into Clooney. It's something, you know, with big high horsepower cars that much, you know, it's often overlooked, but it's something you've seriously got to, you know, do if you, if you get a creep up on your tune. You don't want your AFRs heading into dangerous territory. You want massive fuel delivery. And um, the other big announcement we've got to make today too is that the reason we're bumping up the um, the fuel system is we're going E85. So E85 alcohol-based fuel, uh, corn syrup, commonly referred to, good enough for the V8 supercars, is good enough for us here at our VF. And that's going to allow us to run a heap more timing in the car. Um, our previous tune, you know, it was starting to lean out up high as well. Because, you know, we are we are pushing that factory system to the absolute limit. So General Motors did not design a fuel system to run a blown 7-litre uh, V8. So... The system in, the, in it before was good for about, you know, 550, 570 kilowatts before we had to seriously take power out of the tune because we were heading to dangerous territory. So now the sky's the... All right, so you've heard about our latest fuel updates there. Um, obviously getting you know, a massive twin pump fuel system. It's a bit, bit of secrecy around the exact pump we're using here. It's a bit of competitive advantage we've got here at Gentech. And, um, and the secret products we use. I'll unveil all that over time, but um, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's, pretty, it's pretty special. It's from an overseas location as well and a um, bit of an import. So, um, but that's all good. The other modification I didn't mention in the video is we're gonna get a flex sensor as well. So that way we can run a combination of E85 and 98 as well. And that's gonna be really important because we don't want 85 sitting in the tank and you know going off when we're not racing. We'll have E85 on race days, 98 if we're moving the car around and then obviously to clean the, the system out once we're done. So flex sensors um, used to come factory in a number of the uh, early VEs and the initial VFs from memory as well. So we're going to throw one of those in. Happy. Okay, so we're just back from Gentech. Been an exciting little day today. We also wanted to share with you another update on the fuel system we're doing as well. And that means we're stepping up from a 102 mil throttle body up to a 110. So that should complement our, uh, our fuel system that, you know, that'll be good, good fun. 
And um, just wanted to um, share with you all too, taking the jump to E85 is a big step. And I do not recommend it for your daily driver Commodore or you know, your, any sort of car that you're going to keep on the road. And here's the reasons why. Okay, so the first reason is availability. You know, five, six, seven years ago, you could actually get E85 at a regular service station. These days, it's as rare as hen's teeth. There's only like one place in Canberra, apparently, that we're going to be able to go to. Um, and it used to be one out of the Eagle Hawk, and apparently they don't sell it anymore. So your alternatives are to get some big 44-gallon drums and keep it yourself. And then obviously you've got to keep a bit of an additive with it to make sure it doesn't go off. Um, or find somewhere that does sell it, get some little jerry cans, and actually fill up your car at the racetrack and that when you need it. Not only is availability tough, but with E85, you will actually end up using 30% more um, fuel as opposed to 98. And that means stuff like we talked about today with the fuel system, bigger injectors and things like that, they become a necessity because you've got to jam 30% more fuel in compared to um, 98 fuel. So apart from availability and, um, and the other supporting mods you're gonna have to do, I think the benefits far outweigh those differences, particularly for a performance car. And that is, you know, you can reduce your inlet temperatures, you can run a heat load more timing, and it's a lot more of a, it's a higher octane fuel too. So for high compression cars like Clooney, it's going to love it. All right, on that note, the Clooney Garage, you've been asking for content about Clooney. We've provided it. Got a cow mooing in the back. If you want a cow, come let me know. It's going very cheaply, that one at the moment. Um, but as mentioned, we're going to add more Clooney content coming up as soon as that car's finished with the dyno video to come. That'll be pretty special. Don't do it for Dardorf Rocky. Catch you later.